The scholarship that I'm currently receiving from the university is the Marianne Dorsey Scholarship. So the Dorsey Fund is specifically given by one donor, Marianne and Paul Judy. I would have met them before my freshman year, but unfortunately the day they visited Mary Washington was my high school graduation, and I couldn't actually miss that. I know our primary concern of me attending Mary Washington was the financial burden that it possessed. And so when I actually learned that I received my scholarship, my mom actually cried. Because, you know, because she was actually, you know, doing her best, like, you know, hours to you know, help provide me with the quality of education that I wanted. I tell people all the time, I don't know who I'd be and where I would be if it hadn't been for Marianne and Paul Judy. Because I, I don't know what my life looks like without Mary Washington, and I certainly never would. I don't want to know. That's not the life I want to know. My parents actually did not have the privilege of going to college. Um, they, they of course, graduated high school. My dad, uh, he works in construction and has experience in HVAC and electrician. And so he has gone to trade school and uh, refined his skills in that way, but not necessarily a formal uh, college at the university. I think the reason why I, I love well, I love college, of course, but I take college so seriously and I have such a passion for uh, attending college and I don't take it for granted is mainly for my parents. My sophomore year, uh, coming into my junior year, I, I got notified, I believe, in the, sometime in the summer when I first heard about it and I checked it on a banner. It's a great scholarship, um, good amount of money too. <laughs> um, it's definitely helped me in immaculate ways. Um, currently, I'm privileged enough to ha uh, have everything paid for and actually have a layover, um, so I have a calls for like, I can use it for books and whatnot, so it pays my tuition. And I still commute at the moment just to keep the, the dollar amount down, but it's definitely put me in a great financial position and uh, allowed me to have uh, work as well and kind of accumulate money, so when I'm thinking about postgrad, I can have some money saved away, so I can use that later on. My scholarship is the Washington Scholarship, uh, and it's, it's interesting to talk about that in this location because this is actually where I was interviewed for my scholarship. So to sort of back up, essentially to get started with the process during my application, I wrote an additional essay, and that was the first part of applying for the scholarship. And a little while after that, I heard back from the university saying that they wanted to interview me for the full scholarship, this full ride scholarship. I was president of the Alumni Association here, and um, it, 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 as it turns out, um, the Alumni Association had a fair amount of cash in those days and we were um, trying to decide what we could use that money for to um, benefit the university and especially to try to give them something that they didn't already have. And at that time, they had about 130 partial scholarships, but they didn't have any full scholarships, um, full ride scholarships that covered everything. Uh, the atmosphere I felt like was different than with other interview processes. Um, it seemed a little less like, I, I mean, I was in competition for the scholarship, but it was more than that. It just in the fact that they already had granted me a full tuition scholarship, it seemed to really indicate that, you know, no matter what, we want you. The Alumni Association continued to put money towards that, and uh, when they got the, the, the next one that was fully funded, um, they, they, they called Bill and me to their meeting, and um, asked me, as the, one of the past presidents, um, to talk about it because it, it kind of happened under my watch. And much to my surprise, after I finished describing what I just described to you, um, they said, well, we've got another one that, we, that is ready to go, and they named it for us. I definitely want to thank the Crawleys. This has been a tremendous opportunity. Been able to do so much with thanks to the scholarship, especially the ability to study abroad. I really don't think that that would have occurred without the scholarship. So it's it's just been amazing, and I'm very very grateful, and I'm so thankful. Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to sit with her and um, several other scholarship recipients that um, it, it it was very um, uplifting and heartwarming. to hear their, and humbling, to hear their gratitude um, for being able to continue on and do what they have done. And I'm so proud of them. They've just done great work, and I know their futures are bright. I look forward to hearing from them in the future.
I tell people this sometimes that I, I've only had one job my whole life, but it doesn't feel like a job. I never felt like I was going to work. I felt like I was just going to school. This is what I always like to do, and that's what I got to do and got paid to do it. So heck, what else could you want? To be in a beautiful place uh, with wonderful students and wonderful colleagues. So it's been a great experience for me to, to be here all the time. I hope, I hope that what we've done uh, helps to, to, to promote the, the interests of the university. Mary Washington has given so much to me. I only want to continue to give it back to them. So this is actually the third out of four times uh, in the past few weeks that I will be here and I will just come back again next week. So you're a big fan? I am a humongous fan. <laughs> I swear, I tell people I bleed blue and gray. Oh, that was so beautiful. I couldn't even, I couldn't even write that. <laughs>